The expectation of people who are growing older is much more ambitious than it used to be. They want to live in their own homes. That's the really, really important point. While there's some good research happening right now in Canada around technology and aging, there really is no cohesive approach to it. And furthermore, there's really no receptor community who can take up these technologies and get them in the hands of the users. And that's really the goal of AgeWell. So TRI really is well positioned to be the host institution for this network because uh, a lot of good research is happening here right now in the area of technology and aging. Beyond that, we have facilities here through IDAP that no one else has, has around the world. In terms of some potential technology that we're looking at, we're ranging from anywhere from apps that will help caregivers to robotics in the home to smart home systems, um, even technologies that can help do things such as automatic to detect pain in people with dementia. There's no question in my mind that success it takes the form of, in the most case, products on the market. Our partners are, are critical in the success of AgeWell. They are the ones that are going to be taking the research and the knowledge that we generate in the academic institutions and driving it forward and moving it out there into the marketplace. This is going to be looked at around the world. There is no other program of this size and this cohesion anywhere else. You know, we all know this you know, gray tsunami, as some people refer to it, coming. We also know that older adults want to remain in their own homes and that it is better for their quality of life. One key solution to do this is technology, and this is a means to do that.